Hello everyone, welcome back to Death Stranding. So, we just got back into the game, um, it looks like we got some mail, I'll look at it later. I want to go check out the other two places. Barely see. Damn, that looks real. It looks like someone walking. It might be real. No, it's not real. But it looks pretty damn good. Fuck, idiot. He's got blood on him. Think you could keep it safe. <sighs> Man like you. Hey, my car is still here. Good. <laughs> clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked. So we're all clear. Welcome, Sam Porter. Twenty-four thousand likes. That's that's pretty awesome. Okay, that's just overnight. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so there was the engineer, and there was someone else. I don't remember the other person. Uh. The Elder. We'll just take both of these. They're like right next to each other. This one's fragile, but it's okay. Mules and a river, but no BTs. Your destination is a shelter south of Lake Knot City. The package you're carrying contains a network ready Evo Devil unit. A special device that applies the principles of evolutionary biology to practical problems. When used in conjunction with a Cairo printer, it can recreate items from incomplete structural data. It's a prototype, but so far our trials have been successful. <clears throat> the client is a civilian. We call him the engineer, who's agreed to put the unit through validation testing for us. Be careful. The EDU is a delicate piece of equipment that must be handled with care. If you don't, it can and will break. Oh, and the engineer is second gen, born in the shelter. Not so good with people, but he's a whiz with machines. Or so I hear. Okay, and I'll take the other one at the same time. Why not? It's a mountainous area. With cliffs. And it says we need ladders and bridges. Well. The client is a first gen prepper. Old school. Been in and out of shelter since before the Death Stranding. Deliveries of his medication have fallen behind, though, and he's about to run out. There's just one case you need to bring, but there are multiple packs inside. Every dose counts, so you'd best handle it with care. While the client's life isn't in immediate danger, he's probably having a rough time. Don't keep him waiting, huh? Okay, so really it seems like this is all about mules. I'll take both of those. I'm going to... I have two ladders. I think that'll be fine. I have two bowler guns, and I was amazed at how effective that bowler gun was. 
So I think I'm gonna keep both of them, and that will work out fine. So two ladders, the boulder gun. Our boots are fine. We have another backup if we need it. I don't think we do. Okay. The one worry I have is if there's like follow-up missions. Like the, um... What's his name? The combat dude. Gave us a follow-up. We, we need to do both of these first. Interesting. Did it auto-upload my stuff? No, I'm still wearing it. It just isn't visible. It's on the seat next to him. Gotcha. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Right, keep those up, please. What is that mark right there? Let's get rid of that. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Road's still not there. Can I see what it needs from this? No. But there's a hundred medals right there. How can I? How can I not just deal with that? Almost ready. Just a bit more metal. Are there any around? No. Soon, no. Soon. And the next bit of road's up. So. All those metals. We need to go and do some uh, some farming. So this is the engineer. That's the heavier package also, so that's for the good. Thanks. Sam Bridges, I presume? I've heard of you. The man trekking across the country trying to reconnect folks. I appreciate you bringing me this. I do. Times have been tough without Fragile Express to handle deliveries. Now let me just check the cargo. Huh. Wow. You took really good care of this. I'll let Bridges know how the V&V &V testing goes. Thanks again. It was just down the road. It wasn't much of a much of a thing.
That's all from the overnight. Look at that bridge link go up. Oh my god. Skilled mover. Bridge link 30. Information concerning new items has been shared with me. More strand contracts, more upgraded quests. My god. I, I have to wonder if something went wrong overnight that we got so many likes and went up so much rank. Sync level is increased by 10%. I don't know what that means. I'm considered to be reliable. Good. Yeah, I don't... What is information concerning new items? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I need you to understand something. It's about Fragile. You might have heard she helped terrorists, but she didn't care who got hurt. But I'm telling you, that's gotta be bullshit. Her and her people put their lives on the line to get us what we needed. She's a hero through and through. Look, I was born in a shelter. The only world I've ever known is within these walls. So when people talk about America, I can't even begin to imagine it. But if that Cupid connects me to everyone else, I won't have to. So yeah. Good. I want to join no the follow up. Like, I want to see what I've been missing. The weapons dude, man. That's a different view than usual. Yeah, that was the same animation, but from a different perspective than we usually see it. Power Skeleton. Power Skeleton Silver. Gold, smoke grenades, and a bunch of new stuff to look into. Okay. And with that, my standalone 3D printer is capable of chiral printing. Assuming it works. The Evo Devo unit should enable me to replicate all kinds of archived objects. We can rebuild America one piece at a time. In the meantime, I can use the network to see what's going on in the cities. Track mule and terrorist activity. It's like you brought me the whole wide world in that package. Thank you, Sam. Let's do business again. Oh, yeah. I've got a little something I'd like you to put through its paces. An assist unit I developed myself. Works perfectly in sim trials, but I need someone to test it out on solid ground. And if it makes your job a little easier, all the better. Hmm. Sam, active skeletons attach to your legs and augment your physical capabilities. The one you've got there is a load-bearing AS, designed to reinforce your joints. Just wearing an AS will provide additional support, but you can also boost it to maximize its potential. Go ahead and take it for a spin. You won't be disappointed. This might be what people are saying to wait for before spending a lot of time doing quests in the first area. Equip. This little mech suit, sort of. And then go ahead and get these back on. Kindly. Come around again soon. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. Good job, Sam. Two separate way stations integrated into the Cairo network. Just one more left. Seems good. 
I don't know. I feel like I'd be be more unwieldy if I were uh, not wearing this. Let's just see if there's a follow-up mission from here. Standard orders, but no order for Sam. Craftsman and back to Lake Nant. But let's go and find uh, the other dude first. I want to do all those. I'm going to do all those. But I want to... Um, I want to uh, get the order we're already on out of the way. Okay, where am I going now? Up on top of this ridge up here. <clears throat> okay. Drive apparently. Come on. I just want to get a little bit of recharge. So I'm looking at that gap right there. Oh, strands. Huh. I'm looking at that gap and thinking we might be able to get close to it and then walk the rest of the way. Ah, uh, we're starting to see hands, which we are moving into a Corellium rich area. Come on. Come on, get up. There you go. You know what? This is good enough. rainbow but there are strands ah I'm using a battery by trying to run got it okay I definitely feel more stable like ridiculously more stable I'd be having to hold to um, right right and left in order to not tip over as we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. <sighs> wow. It's like it, it almost removes the whole balance. Okay, there's the rainbow. It almost removes the whole balancing part of the game, having it like this. There we go.
delivering cargo. I've been expecting you. You are my lifeline. I've only managed to get this far thanks to porters, and you don't ask for anything in return. You have my gratitude. Let's see how's the package. Wow, this is great. Excellent job, thank you. So, uh, wanna join the UCA? Maybe not. Cargo condition grade ten. It'll be easier to keep your balance. But I just got the suit, so it kind of kinda of doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> oh well. Twelve hours into the game. Ah, At so least three of a cutscene. Please tell me you put the terrorists behind you. When Fragile, the daughter of the Founder, started associating with other couriers, things started getting scary around here. Rumors say that she caused the explosion at Middle Knot City, and there's a part of me that believes it. Of course, she could be just another one of their victims. Are you connecting the Chiral Network? I don't mind a contract with Bridges, mm. but I'm not going to join the UCA. Go ahead if you're fine with that. <clears throat> Maybe you already heard it from Fragile, but preppers who don't want to be a part of the UCA can still sign a contract with Bridges to join the network. They get to use our delivery services and other basic Cairo network infrastructure, much like our full members. Similarly, you'll be able to use their Cairo printing facilities to replenish your supplies. They are not, however, obligated to exchange data with us. So don't expect them to share intel or help with the development of new tech. In an ideal world, everyone would be a part of the UCA, of course. But failing that, we want everyone to at least be a part of the network. They can always change their minds after the fact. The Cupid will interface differently with the terminal depending on the type of contract. So connect your Cupid to confirm. I don't know, was it different? I, I, I didn't really tell. <laughs> Lots of signs and things. The company just got too big. In times like these, we should all keep it close and tight. That goes for couriers, too. Otherwise, we'll just make the same mistakes. Republics, federations, coalitions, states. Connecting all kinds of people together. It's just asking for trouble. Sorry. It's been a while since I last talked to anyone. Travel safe. See you around, then. It, it's not a bad point. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I mean, if everybody, if everyone were connected to, thinks of themselves as being part of us, you know, like we are all one people, then it's fine that we're connected. But if we try to connect to people that are, you know, that are really, really uh, strictly isolation, isolationist, that really feel like that they need to be apart from us, that they won't consider themselves to be the same type of person as we are, and won't um, ever assimilate into our culture, then, I don't know, it, it seems like it's almost borrowing trouble asking them to, to force them in, let them be separate. I don't know.
So you want me to send stuff back to the engineer. That's easy to do. Into the craftsman. And back to the... Back to wherever. Let's go back to the engineer. Excellent work, Sam. You brought <clears> three <throat> way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid, and the Cairo network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. Uh oh. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs, and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mules drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. Interesting. So... Am I on it now? I think I am. I'm on the order. Hall. Okay. Well, we're gonna go into the mule camp then. I guess. Where is it? That's the engineer, so it's over there. That's weird. I think that's the first time where they just gave me an order. And not me having to go and actually pick it up from somewhere. You know? What's up all this? Bunch of trash stuff. Right here. So, we did clear out this camp, just like a bit ago, but we reloaded since then, so it might not be... It might not count. Depending on how the respawn mechanics work. Kinda wish I had another rope. See if there's respawn. Yeah, they're all respawned again. Great. Well, last time our bola was just ridiculously good at them, so. And we've got. Don't I have two? I thought I had two. Maybe not. Oh, 
I'd rather their car come first. Come and get me. Oh dear. Kick him. So far, so good. Okay, that's the immediate threats, I think. I could have sworn I had a second bullet gun. I do. It's just, it's back home. And it was, I thought, it, I thought they were, um, I thought they were counting them differently. So I thought I had two on me and one back home. But no, I have two back home. Or I have one back home and one here. It doesn't matter. We're, we're good for a single camp. Park here next to the electric thing while we're dealing with these. Shit. Excuse me, excuse the language. I'm not sure how much I can load up. Like, we had a problem last time. With our truck not being able to carry everything.
the film director. That's a new one. Leave that there for now, though. Yeah, let's put this gun away. It's causing me troubles. Piling cargo high makes it hard to hide. That makes sense. Oh, I left some resins back there. That's fine. I, I don't need resins. Okay, where's the engineer from here? This looks like a gap ahead. We might have to go all the way down to that bridge there. I'm thinking. I delivered materials to an auto paver nail near. No, I didn't. I'm here. I wonder. I wonder if the stuff I left behind might have just been auto delivered. Maybe. I don't know. Well, hell, I mean. Right here. Okay. Oh, our weight limit is so much higher. It's 250. It was like, what, one, 150 before? I don't know. It's higher. Because of the, the limbs, I'm guessing. Or... The, the... The special pants. We're starting to get slowed down a little, I think. I think we're probably at our weight limit. Or thereabouts. In terms of the truck. Uh, well, hello! Uh, okay. uh. Are those mules? No?
Hello. Hey, mine's hey, heavier. Mine's heavier. 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 A porter gave me a like for my ladder. All right, time to move. I didn't. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't think I was that close to you. in great condition. Not the most efficient delivery route, I imagine. <laughs> Power Skeleton 2. Silver and gold also. So this guy seems like it's worth probably making him uh, a level 5, just because he keeps on giving me upgrades. Thanks. Until okay, but we have to go back to Lake Thought. Please access delivery terminal for further information. So we can go ahead and do this, the custom made vehicle inspection tools, because we're heading that way anyway. And it's really close. Okay, it's not telling me about them. So power skeleton one. I'm looking like for a number. It's size L weight ten. Compared to skeleton two is weight eight. This model is more energy efficient. Okay. And it becomes a medium size. Okay. I don't know. Why would I carry one and not be wearing it? But whatever. We'll use up the one we got before getting another one. And let's see if we can find a paper on the way. Drop off some supplies. This doesn't seem to have a paver associated with it. I mean, I don't know. 
I kind of want to go this way. Yeah, I can see it down there. Let's go and deliver to that. If we can get across this. Yeah. Like, it would be lazy not to do this. Doesn't quite add up nicely, but that's okay. All roads lead to the USCA. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. That's that's really nice. Well, why stop here? Across our river. Let's just go. That's what we got. It's not letting me actually do it from my car. I don't have enough medals to finish it, I don't think. That's a shame. Now it does. Just didn't for some reason before. It didn't contribute last time. It didn't count. That's weird. Oh, and now we do have enough. Oh, whatever. <laughs> there.
I swear, this part of the game is more fun than fighting all the ghosts. <laughs> Building the infrastructure. Makes me feel like I'm, you know, really contributing to the world. Let's get out of this time, Paul. Was that mine? No, that's someone else's. I'm right here. I'm right here. Poor mules. They got this road going right through their territory. People out of reach. <laughs> How frustrating that must be. So this just needs some metals. I don't think I have any. No, we're all ceramics. Sixty more. We'll, we'll bring some metals out next time we uh, come this way. So much mail. You can see the rover building is slowly winding its way through this territory. That's cool. I really like it. Yeah, we were a little inefficient. <laughs> but it was for a good cause. Ooh! Sam, I've added a reverse trike to the list of supplies you can fabricate. Lake Knot City was kind enough to provide the blueprints as thanks. I'd tell you all about it, but, uh, didn't you used to have your own? Same deal. Two front wheels, one rear, battery powered. Fitted with an auto charging unit that kicks in when not in use. Requires skill to drive over obstacle strewn terrain. Best suited to long flat stretches, yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. yada. carrying you another vehicle, so you can look forward to that too. Reverse strike long range.
Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs? Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it, though. Just <clears> ask <throat> her and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not, we need her help. Sam, it's fragile. I hear you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. That's some good work. As long as we're shooting the shit, you mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it, in person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. So we have two new orders. Sam, a lot of clients are requesting you by name. Now while there are orders we need you to accept which are critical to the expansion of the Cairo network, there are others that you can take or leave at your discretion. It goes without saying though that it's in everyone's best interest for you to do as much as you can. And more work means more rewards. Hmm. So, hmm. I've been thinking of these as the optional quests, but maybe those are the optional quests. Well, we were going to do that one anyway, but we're going to do, we'll do that next time. Keep flat. <laughs> That's an interesting order. Keep flat. You just put it in your back. Your um, your put it on ba on on your back and it'll be fine, right? Maybe you have to hold it in two hands. I don't know. Anyway, we'll look at those later. Let's go rest in our room. Your work is great. No, wait a minute. Let's go back out. Back out. Nope. Back out. I want to empty our truck first. Because I, I don't want to lose all the material in it. I, I saw that when I logged off last time, the truck stayed around. But... I'm not sure the stuff in it did, so we'll just grab it all. And we'll recycle it. Yeah, it's only 1% damage. Yeah, we don't, we're not going to mess with that. We'll wait till we get a, um, a better one. Uh, are we over overburdened on ceramics? Pull that, pull that one out. Ah, it's just right four. Put it in. Go sleep again, I bet. <laughs> More mail. Alright, let's check out these 
So much stuff has been piling up. God. Okay. From the craftsman. Dear Sam, our local mule chapter hasn't been causing tr any trouble of late, and I guess that must be down to the lesson you taught them. I know these guys are just victims, really, what with their obsessive compulsions or whatever, but the fact is they make life difficult. Someone had to confront them, and that's just what you did. Hats off to you, Sam. How about my tool, by the way? Did it come in handy? It did. It, it was really useful. I guess it must have done if you managed to get out there without killing anyone. The commencement of Evo Devo unit testing. Evo Devo. I know it can't be easy out there on your own, but we need you to stay strong. I've started a few experiments with the Evo Devo unit you brought me. So far, things are going pretty well. I'm not quite at the stage where I can perfectly recreate objects, but I suspect that's only because the chiral network's coverage is still limited. The more places you bring online, the better my results. Anyway, I'll be submitting regular reports on my progress. Rest assured, I'll keep at it. Incidentally, I've taken an interest in the Odra deck lately. These days, people tend to associate them with the BBs or think of them as BT detectors, but they were originally designed as more all-purpose scanners for the detection of people and objects. Seems they've undergone quite a few changes over the years. By all accounts, many of the original features were cut at some point. One such feature would allow users to project holograms, which could be pretty useful. Another would utilize chiral connections to reconstruct past data for present day applications. I don't believe these features are lost forever. If we keep expanding the network, someone's bound to take the initiative and create new and improved versions of them. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. We should catch up in person one day. My dear Sam, my dear Mr. Sam Bridges, it is an honor to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Peter Engel Englert. After hearing so much about you, all good, I hasten to add, I simply could not resist the urge to initiate a correspondence. My request is of such great import that I dare entrust it only to the man who delivers. My sister, bless her heart, has been feeling under the weather, and I fear there's only one thing that might restore the color to her cheeks. Pizza. I wonder if you might be so kind as to collect some from Lake Knot City and deliver it to our humble abode. I am more than aware of the gravity and urgency of your westward journey, but if you could find it in your heart to squeeze us in, I would be ever so grateful. Oh, and my dear sister is something of a ham lover. Please bear that in mind if you decide to oblige me. I like him. <laughs> From the Elder. Why join the UCA? You still out there fighting the good fight, kiddo? I dip my hat to you for that, and for bringing an old curmudgeon as medicine. I'm doing a whole lot better for it. Much obliged. So in exchange for signing a contract with Bridges, I get meds and supplies delivered to my doorsteps? No different from the deal I have with Fragile Express. And while I may not have full use of this here network of yours, I can access the weather data and news I need to make life easier than before. All that without having to join the UCA. So what incentive is there to do so? It's a fair point. Hey Sam, did you hear? One of the porters I hooked up with hematic grenades took down a BT the other day. There was a sharp drop in corellium density that coincided with his report. So there's no denying he got the son of a bitch. And it's all thanks to you and the UCA. It's an exchange joining up. We sacrifice a little privacy, share our little expertise, and you agree to look out for us. Not a huge price to pay, but it's enough to help the cause. A tax, if we're being honest. We pay. We get protection. Contracts alone won't cut it. We're just free riders that way. Not giving up enough not getting enough. And if you dodge your taxes, you can't be surprised when there's nobody around to look out for you. Quid pro quo and all that. Unfortunately, most people view taxes as, you know, our due. We're not... You're required... Ah, I didn't want to get to it. <laughs> the info and tech I've received from Bridges just might be enough for me to start producing hematic grenades in bulk. If so, then who knows? Maybe we can wipe out the current crop of BTs. Of course, there's a catch. Only your blood seems to work. Don't misunderstand. I'm not going to ask you to bleed yourself dry. To be honest, I'm surprised we got as much from you as we did. It's like you're donating a pint every time you take a break. Well, it can't be easy, but we sure are grateful, and don't you forget it. 
You leeches. With your taxes. I had this crazy idea, Sam. What if you're the perfect example of homo ludens? Think about it. You're with bridges, but you're not beholden to them. You're the only one who can expand the network, so they need you as much as you need them, if not more. Taken all together, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want, including come way out here to visit me on a whim. Maybe what you do isn't play, in the strictest sense of the word. Doesn't help you blow off steam, I expect. But you go about your business as you like, and your actions have a direct effect on our culture and our world. I'd say that's the sort of life any aspiring homo ludens would envy, don't you? I don't get the ludens thing. I probably don't need to. Dear Sam, how's it going? Still heading west? We're rooting for you. We are part of the second group, so we never got to speak with Amelie face to face. Caught the occasional hollow message, but that was about it. Still, every little bit helped to keep us going. She's just like her mother. Tough. Clever. Easy on the eye, too. Won't lie and say I didn't notice. But what really resonated with us was that fire she carries. That conviction. Same as Bridget. Any one of us would have laid down our lives in service to her vision. I suppose this is all a long-winded way of saying you want to move on and meet her like we never got to. And when you do, tell her we're still all believers in the cause and in her and her mother. You'll do that, won't you? From George Batten. The oxytocin guy. Still keeping on, keeping on, Sam? Me, I've been practicing going outside. Longer and farther each time. Thought I'd conquered my fears at one point. That I'd be making deliveries like nobody's business before long. That was before I wandered into mule territory for the first time. I panicked and dropped damn near everything I was carrying. Guess it belongs to them now. That little hiccup aside, I've managed to put up a few signs and watchtowers and other stuff I figured guys like you might appreciate. So it's not all like it's all bad. Haven't met any other porters face to face yet, but I can tell they're liking what I've done. As in, they've given me likes. Oxy and smart drugs might help to love me out, but I tell you, when someone hits you with a, that like, it's a feeling like no other. That confirmation that you've made a positive difference in someone else's life. It's a grand, man. It's grand. Anyway, good luck with everything. Sending all the love and likes. A few tips. Active skeleton effects remain active as long as you have battery remaining. Left can be used to boost any effects, but this depletes battery more quickly. Battery is solar powered and will slowly recharge in sunny or cloudy weather. That's cool. I thought it needed to be in your generator, but that's cool. Not during the time fall, though, I assume. Working with others to rebuild roads. Road completion progress and materials contribute toward it are shared between players, enabling everyone to work together to rebuild the highways and byways of the land. Add materials to auto pavers to rebuild roads. Once restored to their original state, roads make traveling easier, particularly for vehicles. Okay. Yeah. Orders with the golden strand must be completed. The rest are optional quests. Piling cargo high makes it hard to hide. Equipment battery is shared among all equipment, including skeletons. And what else? What else do I have that would use battery? The Odra Jack doesn't use battery. I don't know. Okay. <sighs> There's a lot of them. Prepper interview the engineer. My horizons ain't exactly broad. That said, I'm not completely cut off from the outside world. I knew what bridges was and that they were re trying to rebuild America. But when you're living down here, it's hard to see how that's got anything to do with you and yourself. Am I right? My folks holed up in the shelter after the Death Stranding. Had a kid, raised him in their slice of paradise, and together we lived off whatever, we lived off whatever Fragile Express was kind enough to bring our way. They told me tales about the good old days. But I've never had much of an imagination. Couldn't see how a country long gone was any concern of me and mine. 
far as I figured, if Fragile Express was happy to keep bringing us stuff, we didn't need anybody else. And we certainly didn't need America. Whatever that even was. One day, I was looking at a part for this machine my dad put together. He was an engineer too, and I noticed something. It said, made in the USA, right there in tiny print. Got me to thinking that America might not exist anymore, but the stuff Americans built is still around, making our lives a little bit easier, even now. You could say the old country lives on in its works, kind of like how my folks live on in me. They, um, they died a while back. Anyway, if they were American, I guess that makes me American too, and maybe this shelter a part of it all. Once I realized that, I started pouring my heart into building stuff to help you guys put the country back together. From Mama? In a way, the Chiral Network makes use of the beach to allow us to travel through time. See, sending large amounts of data takes large amounts of time, as you'd expect. But the thing about beaches is, well, time doesn't pass the same way in them as it does out here. Might not even pass at all. Think about how the light from the stars in the sky was produced thousands and thousands of years ago. Routing data through the beach is like jumping to a point earlier in that joint journey, thereby cutting it shorter. Much shorter. Just imagine, massive amounts of data transferred almost instantaneously. That's what we're trying to achieve with the chiral network in a nutshell. In theory, the network allows us to reconstruct old data that would otherwise be lost, and to do so with fragmented resources. Using what's known as evo-devo analysis, we could take the finger bone of a dinosaur, say, and extrapolate from that not only the dinosaur's form, but its composition, internal, external, even its thought processes, to a degree. Anything is possible with chiral computing. In other words, we won't just be able to reunite a nation, we'll be able to reclaim everything we lost in the Death Stranding. More even. Theoretically, we could go back as far as the birth of the planet and beyond, and thanks to the beach, we'll be able to compile all that data in one place and reduce the processing time for even the most complex analyses to effectively zero. The Evo Devo Unit by Hartman. Hartman has a lot to say. It seems a rather significant breakthrough has already been achieved at headquarters. They've successfully integrated an Evo Devo unit into the chiral printer. In case you're not familiar with the term, Evo Devo refers to evolutionary developmental biology. Your genes, mouse genes, dinosaur genes, the genes of every living being are virtually identical, and yet we develop into such radically different organisms. Thus, a question arises, why did such disparate life arise from the self-same building blocks? Evo Devo was the field of study that sought to solve that mystery, to lay bare the secrets of evolution. Before the advent of Evo Devo, it was thought that in order to reconstruct a dinosaur, we would require a sample of its DNA. However, thanks to this abil technology's ability to extrapolate from existing data, we could, with the correct stimulus, grow a dinosaur from the DNA of any living organism. I don't get it at all. That's really weird. We could, in essence, recreate the process by which dinosaurs evolved from primeval life forms. An Evo Devo unit applies those same principles to the problem of information and object reconstruction. With the help of the chiral network, we may take incomplete data, and indeed incomplete objects, and reproduce their complete forms. This data can then be fed into a chiral printer, and voila! Partial data yields finished product. The tech isn't viable for everyday use yet, but when it is, it will be of incalculable value, benefit to our research, and, bringing, and bring our reconstruction efforts forward by a matter of decades. Yeah, I don't get it. That seems like magic to me. It was the beach. You know, it's the beach. Higgs Monogon. Or Monogon. Whatever. Why, yes, I know the name the former leader of a private courier organization, which serviced a large region in the West and was instrumental in providing continued support to the people living there. But as we were so far apart, bridges struggled to maintain any measure of influence over their operations. 
probably didn't help that the separatist movement has always enjoyed strong support in that territory. In the wake of growing violence by the demons, we were shocked to learn that Higgs himself was at their lead, at their head. What to make of this strange development? Why on earth would a man who once commanded a group devoted to American Reconstructionism suddenly pledge himself to the cause of American destruction? His name only compounds the insult. Have you ever heard of the Higgs particle, also known as the God particle? It is associated with the Higgs field, that which gives all other particles their mass. Without it, atoms would fly apart, and matter would not even exist as we know it. In other words, its very presence prevents mindless destruction. Cosmic irony, indeed. We done? Okay. Well, let's start with a shower. We'll end with a shower, I suppose. Gotta have our regular shower. It's still really weird that he's got handprints on him. And we'll check on our BB. Oh, I think this might be a special one. Maybe. Nah, it's just the normal one. We've had a couple of horrifying ones. And on that note, let's take a break. So thank you everyone for watching. I think we're gonna get we're gonna finish up our road building next time, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, thank you for watching. Till next time.